Hello, you join me at an incredibly messy desk. Um, yes, <laughs> I need I need to catch up with everything that I need to do. Anyway, today we're going to look at an O2 boost box. There seem to be multiple versions of these boxes around, and finding the manual which relates to this specific one with all these symbols on it seems to be incredibly difficult. So this is an O2 boost box uh, model, SS2GEI femtocell, and let's see if I can just get rid of some of that brightness. Whoop, that's not going to do anything. There we go, that's slightly better. Uh, so yes, sorry, it's, an, it's a O2 boost box residential model SS2GEI uh, femtocell multiband SOHO, S-O-H-O. Uh, SKU number is A F E M C E L N. Part number 3JR09087 A D E A, and this one is manufactured what looks like September or possibly the ninth week of 2020. Takes 12 volts, 2 amps in. It also Interestingly, takes active PoE in, so uh, I'll test that in just a moment. And it's assembled by Nokia. And then there's another label which says it's your responsibility to make sure that the O2 have your correct address for 999 calls. So if I can extract from this very messy desk a network cable which has PoE, active PoE running through it, and uh, let's see, oh, on the back of it we have the power socket, a WAN port which is yellow, and a LAN port which is grey. There's also a factory reset, or at least a reset button, and, um, and that's really about it, there's no buttons on the side or anything. So let's plug this into something which provides power, PoE. And it doesn't look like... oh it does, there you go, so that's lit up on the WAN side. So it does take PoE on WAN. And uh, let's see whether it takes PoE from the LAN side. So there's nothing there. So PoE, if you did want to use it, seems to only work on the yellow WAN socket side. The power supply it comes with is this one here, which just looks like a uh, fairly generic wall wart or switching power supply, rated at 12 volts, 2 amps. And that model number is F24W5-120200SPAB. So there wasn't much more to film once I'd plugged that in. It probably spent several hours, if not 12 hours, uh, flashing away at different lights before it eventually, uh, all the top four lights went solid white and then the uh, boost box worked. So I can't really easily film that and put it online. That was on my internet connection. I then took it to another location, which is the photo you can see uh, which is a test location on an internet provider's network and tested it there and it worked. However, when it went back to the customer's house, the boost box wouldn't connect, which was the problem and the reason I had it in the first place and why I was testing with it. Um, I'm not sure how, but O2 had failed to fix the problem. I then tested it to make sure it worked elsewhere, tested it on the ISP's network to make sure it worked on the ISP's network and it wasn't uh, a problem with the ISP. Uh, took it back to the customer, they plugged it in, it didn't work. They contacted O2 again. O2 did something, and we don't know what, and then suddenly it started working. Um, so it was definitely a problem on O2's end because uh, absolutely everything had been exhausted on the customer's side to try and resolve it uh, and on the ISP's side, annoyingly. It was O2. Just wasted a load of uh, everyone else's time. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers are really helpful. Thank you very much.